that's the reason why I'm here. I'm 18 years old, facing 25 years to life for drug possession and murder. Let's start from the beginning. Let me introduce you to my parents. My father is an alcoholic, and my mother, well, she is passive-aggressive, except when she beats on me. Basically, my father abused my mother, and in return, my mother abused me. Sometimes my mother is a sweetheart, but she gave me hell to pay for my father's abuse. I hate you. I can't even stand the sight of you. You and our disgusting-looking daughter. I'm sorry. I'll get better. I'll work out for you. I'll do whatever you want. Just please don't leave me. <laughs> oh, and by the way, tell that poor daughter of ours that she owes me her wife for raising her. I can't stand you two. It's all your fault! Your father! It makes me because of you! It's all your fault! It's your fault! It's your fault! It's not my fault! My abuse wasn't a secret at school. I was quiet because I didn't want any attention that came with the abuse. I did well in high school. I was a quiet, straight-A student. My grades were so good that I got a scholarship to Penn State, and I was my class's valedictorian. I even did well my first semester in college and got a part-time job. I was making decent money, but even with my scholarship, it still wasn't enough for school since my parents cut me off. They didn't even support me going to college in the first place. employed as a waitress at Haas's right down the street. It was a really good first semester here at Penn State. I enjoyed the company of my co-workers and I finally felt in place. At college I had a roommate. Her name was Miley. She loved to have fun. She was my first real friend ever. She introduced me to a lot of new people, including her boyfriend Brad. This is my boyfriend, Brad. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. She took me to my first party. I had never seen so much drugs, alcohol, and partying in my life. I mean, I never tried it or anything, but that night it was really tempting. After that night, Miley broke up with her boyfriend, and I started hanging out with Miley more and more. Looking back at it now, it was a bad idea. I started skipping classes, and I partied hard. <laughs> schedule a meeting with my academic advisor. She told me that I was failing. I did not let that stop me. For the first time in my life, I was in control. I was having fun and I wasn't going to let anything get in my way. 
A couple of weeks later, my grades got so bad that Penn State took away my financial aid. The financial aid and my part-time job was my only source of income. Well, I had to do what I had to do. I started stealing. I started taking money from the register when my boss wasn't looking. I took other people's tips and claimed that they were mine. It actually started to pay off, but my boss caught on and realized what I was doing. He confronted me about it and fired me for it. Then I started to panic. There was no way out. I had no money and consistent bills. With my now low GPA, I couldn't qualify for any scholarship. Hey, you asked to see me. Yes. You have, your grades have been very bad lately. How so? They've been dropping dramatically. What, what's going on? Um, I've just had like some trouble getting used to it here. Uh, they'll, they'll come back up. No problems. I think that's a problem though. We have decided that you have lost all your funding here for the school. Hey, can you watch this? I have a customer waiting on me. Yeah, no problem. Okay, hey, that's Miley's money. What are you doing? Is it? I, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't even realize it's, it was just sitting there. I'm sorry. Okay, Mary Jane, I called you here today because of what have happened at work earlier. I'm so sorry. That, I didn't mean to do that. I, I, I can't let you work here anymore. It's happened before. I've gotten several complaints from your coworkers about you stealing money from them. I, I, I it won't happen it. again, I promise. You're fired. So what did I do? I started selling what I know all too well, Mary Jane. Selling marijuana is a really good business in college, and it was good for a while. I had money, and the bills were getting paid. However, I got greedy and started asking for more money. One time, my client refused to give me the higher price. Out of frustration, I retaliated violently. Yep. Yo, I got the stuff. You got the money. This isn't enough money. It's as much as it was last time. This isn't enough. Well, it's as much as it was last time. cell and ironically I saw him and he was looking really different. He had on a funky wig with heels and double D's. He got caught selling clean pita parolis. What are you in for? I killed a guy. What about you? I sold clean pita at condoms. Do I know you? I used aren't... to date your roommate. Yeah, aren't you um Brad? It's Cindy now.
Yo, I got the stuff. You got the cash? This isn't enough. This is much as it was last time. I need more. Ha, ha, ha.